In this problem, we have a radical equation. And by that, I mean an equation where we have a square root or a radical sign. The general approach with these is to try to get the radical by itself on one side of the equation and then square to get rid of the square root sign. So I can do that by just subtracting 1 from both sides of the equation. If I do that, I'll get the square root of 5x plus 19 on one side and 4 minus 1, which is 3, on the other side. Now I've got that square root alone. I can just square both sides of the equation. So uh, over here, the squaring undoes the square root, so I'll get 5x plus 19. And over here, 3 squared is 9. And now I'll continue to solve for x by subtracting 19, get rid of that number term. And we have 5x equals negative 10. And then we'll divide by 5 to get x equals 2. Sorry, x equals negative 2. But we've done something here. We've squared both sides of this equation. When you do that, there's a chance you can get an answer that doesn't actually work. So when you do this, when you square or raise both sides of an equation to a power, you need to go back and check and see if your answer makes sense with the original equation. So let's plug x, minus, x equals minus 2 in here. So 5 times minus 2 would be negative 10 plus 19. So that's the square root of that. Plus 1 equals 4. Oops, 19. So negative 10 plus 19 is 9. So that's the square root of 9 plus 1 equals 4. And yeah, the square root of 9 is 3, and 3 plus 1 does equal 4. So if this equation comes out to be true, you know that this answer is good. So our answer here is x equals negative 2.